A lot of people assume that electric vehicles are the only ones that could self-drive. And I'm here to show you today with the Toyota Corolla hatchback, what it has is center lane assist. So we're gonna be staying in between the lines with center lane assist. And then you could see on the screen here, these little dashes gives us the different car length. So I could adjust the car length. You can actually zoom in there so you can see, but three car lengths, two car lengths, one car length. We're gonna set it to three. You can see the car ahead of us here. It's slowing us down. You can see the miles per hour drop to 70. We were at 75, now it's 69. And it's giving us three car lengths behind the car in front of us. And this whole time it's center lane assist. And currently I'm actually not using my hands and I do not recommend this to anybody but this is definitely a trick, putting a water bottle on the steering wheel because it has this hand sensor system. So if you take your hand off for an extended period of time, it's gonna warn you to, to shake the wheel a little bit. But what I've noticed is this whole time so far, I've had the water bottle in the steering wheel without any hands on the wheel. Uh, you can clearly see, and we're driving 72 miles an hour, coast-free, hands-free in the Toyota Corolla hatchback. Now, what happens when I remove the water bottle? We're gonna get a warning shortly on the dashboard telling us, prompting us uh, LTA assist, meaning that we need to get our hands on the steering wheel. There it is, you guys can see it on the screen, LTA hand steering assist. So basically warns you, it beeps, and you gotta put your hand on the wheel to get it. But my first time looking at vehicles like this, I never ever realized that gas vehicles like the Toyota Corolla hatchback could have center lane assist, could have the technology of the cars in front of us, and really putting a water bottle in the steering wheel allowing the car to basically self-drive on the throughway. And again, I do not recommend this to anybody. It's definitely um, some risks that you take by doing this. The reason why they want you to have your hand on the steering wheel is so that you are alert and paying attention to the road um, and you can quickly react. So I don't want anyone putting the water bottle here, taking their hands off, going to sleep. It's not what this video is about. But I just wanted to show you the technology involved here. And you can kind of see we went around a bend right there. And, you know, I did the Hyundai Sonata. I did uh, the Ford Mustang Mach-E. I've had experience with a ton of different vehicles. And the center lane assist with the Toyota Corolla is absolutely amazing. I'm so pleased with this vehicle. I actually drove it across country from Western New York to California and back. I did that twice and I actually went from Buffalo, New York, all the way down to uh, the Florida Keys and Key West. And I really just utilized the center lane assist technology the entire, the entire way. But furthermore, just really getting into what I ultimately love about this vehicle, you guys can check it out on my channel. I have other previous videos, how I camped out of this vehicle, basically lived out of the Toyota Corolla hatchback. You'll also see how I lived out of the Ford Mustang Mach-E as well. Uh, spent a lot of time driving across country, exploring all the different roads in this, in this country, and um, how I boondocked out of an electric vehicle, how I slept and camped out of an electric vehicle, how I slept and camped out of the Toyota Corolla hatchback. And really, the other reason why I picked this was because you can lay down in the back seat with the, with the seats folded. Made a little, little bed out of it, and it really, really worked out well. But again, really, you guys could see it. I mean, this whole entire time, we're, we're about 4.30 into the video here. Um, even in the rain, too. It's just starting to rain and sprinkle a little bit, but uh, it's done an awesome job. Literally have the, have the water bottle there. Now, the camera for this is actually in this box right here. Um, and you can kind of see this hole right here. And the one thing that did happen to me actually when I was camping is that it would fill up with moisture. So I realized like it's good to keep the windows down, keep some airflow going on in the vehicle. 
otherwise that will fog up pretty bad and when you initially start the vehicle uh, the front sensors don't work you won't have this technology because it's all relying on that camera um, and further news too like you heard tesla coming out i'm a big fan of, of tesla as well the ford mustang mach -E, you'll see it on my channel and countless breakdowns for customer service was really not well like their mechanics they're not they're not vetted in electric vehicles like you break down in a ford mustang mach -E or an electric vehicle and you go to a ford dealership they might not even have anyone that's electric vehicle certified right and that's exactly what happened to me in north dakota so it was just a total pain but you really look at a company like tesla and them coming out in this last earnings meeting stating that a large reputable automaker is going to be licensing their self-driving technology their full self-driving technology and i really think it could be toyota i really do and i really think toyota has done such a great job already with the center lane assist uh with the the uh, distance in front of the cars. Now it is a little bit jerky, like it does work in stop and go traffic. Like it, it does work if you come to a complete stop. Like if traffic in front of me came to a complete stop, this car would break and stop on its own. If you were stopped for a moment, you know, a few seconds, you would have to hit like either the gas pedal, right? Or the one of the buttons on the steering wheel to reactivate uh, the, self-driving stuff that the, this vehicle has but again like I just really wanted to present this to you I know a lot of people are just like misunderstood when it comes down to electric vehicles and electric vehicles being the only vehicles that are self-driving but clearly this is a gas vehicle it's not a hybrid it's gas so you don't have to worry about charging all the time like I get a, I'm at a half a tank right now I got 185 miles you know I think the Ford Mustang Mach-E on, on a full charge was getting 185 miles just on a, on a full charge. So you got to consider all the stops that you would be making, right? This is so nice. You fill up with gas. You still have the self-driving technology, the center lane assist. Um, you know, you could sleep in the back of the vehicle. I'm just absolutely, absolutely loving this vehicle so much um, for such a cheap entry point, you know, like 25000 it's so cheap and the other thing with electric vehicles too is like yes you don't have to change your brakes right but you can't just bring the electric vehicle to any automaker or any auto shop right you have to go to the dealership we all know going to the dealership is no fun you know all the time the wait the lag time it's just like it's really really brutal having to bring your electric vehicle to the dealership all the time you know this toyota corolla we could bring it to really any shop i actually got a flat tire in florida and it was like a quick little pit stop. They had the tires for me. Everything just went so smoothly. But I appreciate you guys all so much. I really hope you, you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit like, subscribe to the channel. Hope to keep presenting videos like this to y'all. But talk to you soon. Bye.